Qualcomm brings out a new brand called Dragon Wing. Like, why on earth are we talking about a brand on the show? Isn't branding just naming? No, branding is not just naming. Uh, and I think Qualcomm has been pretty savvy uh, with Snapdragon that's really uh, focused on, on, on consumer and auto, compute, XR, sound, gaming. Uh, but one of uh, Qualcomm's huge, diver huge, biggest strategies out there is diversification. And uh, they have a decent sized business in the industrial, embedded IoT, uh, even networking infrastructure, think FWA, and then obviously cellular uh, infrastructure. And uh, Qualcomm you know, is driving a bunch of revenue out there and now they're making a commitment to uh, a brand, which I think is is super important. Uh, a couple things, you know, this signaled to me. So first of all, uh, I think this is a signal of, of future commercial growth, right? This is a, as I said in the lead up, it's strategic brand play, not just some tactical naming exercise. Uh, and, you know, given uh, the investment and how they've treated uh, Snapdragon, I think we can expect a similar uh, treatment here. I am trying to get under the kind of the attributes they want this brand to stand for that are different uh, from, from Snapdragon. And I'm hopefully, uh, I'll nail that down at MWC. The funny part about this, if I look at uh, competing brands in this space, it's just like, it's either brandless, like a model number, like the you know FSM 1000 or something like that, or if it's like this bag of brands, you know, companies, it's just like, just brand proliferation. And you're just like, why on earth are there this many brands? Who cares? Well, what happens is you get, you know, said product manager who wants a brand and they're like, I want a brand. It makes me special. Okay. I get it. I used to do products. I used to think that I was special and I wanted my own brand. I think you're um, special. Uh, yeah. Especially fat and ugly. Uh -huh. Now, Ooh. I got my in body. Man. You're beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm putting on. Uh, I'm getting fat again, dude. Congratulations. Welcome to life. No, I appreciate that. But anyways, um, big commitment here. Uh, hope to learn more about it uh, at Mobile World Congress. Yeah, it looks like that's where it's going to happen. Um, I think this is all about that sort of 50-50 strategy that uh, Qualcomm has been focused on. I think by the end of the decade, they want to diversify half the revenue away from handsets. They've had this boondoggle in automotive. Um, a lot of the rest of the business has been pretty, revenue-wise, has been pretty handset-centric. Um, PCs, uh, interesting space, entering with their, you know, the, the AI PCs. But they've had this really kind of, boisterous business in IoT and industrial applications and, and they just it it probably needs something to help it stand out. I mean, when you're so sort of known in a certain area, um, you know, the interesting thing is like, could they have played off a of Snapdragon with something in a way to stay consistent, like they've done with auto and uh handsets and, and PCs? Maybe. But I at the same time think maybe they're spreading their wings. And trying yeah. to define, I saw, what you, I, I saw what you did there. Thank you. Um, and define this as sort of a very different part of the business: functions, operates, executes, goes to market. And as a guy that has a few brands himself, um, I think sometimes people need that clarity, and sometimes they don't. Uh, Qualcomm is very brand, uh, been very brand centric. Uh, their leadership has been very focused on trying to build the brand. I think one of its historic risks has been it's been so important, but sometimes nameless in many of the places where it's appeared. And I think they're very focused on changing that. The only thing about industrial is I just don't know if brands stand out the same way in that market. Like, I get it. Like Manchester United, I get it being on the Mercedes car. Like, if you want to be a choice when someone walks into Best Buy and picks a PC or picks a, a handset, I just, I think it'll be interesting to see how brand plays out when someone's thinking about, you know, sensors um, for smart cities. But if they're going to do it, they're going to do it. And I think there's a very good possibility it could pay off. So we'll see. 
Yeah, you know, it's good examples. And, you know, this is not Qualcomm's brand for what it's doing in the data center, but, you know, look at Xeon, right? Look at Epic, uh, look at some of these industrial, uh, industrial brands um, out there. They seem to be pretty well known. And I know these aren't device brands, but, you know, you remember the Sun Microsystems brand and how freaking cool that was, or maybe you were still in high school or something. Maybe you don't remember that, but it was one of those uh, really cool industrial uh, uh, brands out there.